Lily Allen is with me now. It's really good to see you. Thanks for having me. And the album's No Shame. Yeah. No Shame because you have no shame. Well, I think it's just <laughs> cleansing. You know, it's a very honest record yeah. and it's sort of like getting it all out there and saying, sure. let's talk about it. Well, you put your heart and soul into this, haven't you? It's really, really personal. Uh, yeah. It's been four years in the making and I'm really, really, really proud of it. It's, 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 um, it's really good. No, because <laughs> you know you are a polarising character. I mean, people sort of like, either people absolutely love you, think you're a free spirit, you're fantastic, you're right, or people say you're really annoying. How do you, how do you deal with that though? Because most people are somewhere in the middle, aren't they? You know, well, most I people guess, are. I guess if, if, if it mattered that much to me, then I would be more in the middle, you know? And, sure. I, and I guess, um, you know, I think the people that do connect with my music, they like, the, the fact that I do sometimes go a little bit too far. Sure. Like they connect with that, so... No, I think so. I mean, this is it's brutally honest sometimes. I mean, you, you're your own worst critic in many ways. You've mm -hmm. talked about the fact that you've not been the best mum, you think, not been the best wife, mm -hmm. you, you think, and how you're not very good at handling fame. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know. Um, I think that is a difficult thing, isn't it? Because you were really young, Lily. You were, do you think you were too young in some yeah, ways? Yeah, I mean, I think I was like 19 or 20 when Gosh. I, you know, when Smile so came that's out. That's so young. It was so It really, really, really is. Little. Um, and then, you know, I think I must have been 25, 26 when, you know, I had Ethel, who's my, my oldest. And, yeah, and I did all of those things, you know, under a, you know, microscope and under the spotlight. And, you know, there was really, really fun elements to it, but it was, it was pretty intense at times. Mm, very, well. very intense. I mean, you've talked about the fact that when you were going through all of that, especially when you were very young, there's a lot of pressure, particularly on young women, mm. young men too, to be fair, but particularly on young women, to look a certain way, to mm. be a certain way. And you, you didn't eat. You just I didn't, didn't eat. eat. No, I used to like sleep for days so that I didn't eat. And God. yeah, I mean, my, my relationship with my, my body was, you know, really not, not great when, in my 20s. And was that coming, were you putting the pressure on yourself or was that coming from the music business, was, perhaps, saying to you, you have to look this way in order to sell I think that I presented myself in quite a sort of, like, defiant way and I was like, you know, I don't, I, I, yeah. I didn't want to care, but it, it felt like people came down on me three times as hard, like, because of that. So it was, it was like, sort of juggling the, like, I don't careness with the... I do care. Yeah, no, no, I know, ex I know exactly what you mean. I really do. And I think an awful lot of women, particularly young women, would really identify with that, Lily. Yeah. That sort of pressure of you've got to, you've got to be thin. Yeah. You know that thin equals good. And we beat ourselves up. We really do. We do. It's crazy, isn't it? We Absolutely do. crazy. You talk about the fact, especially in the album, about none of us is a perfect mother. <laughs> Absolutely nobody is. Mm. But you know, you're very honest again. You put it out there. The fact that you think you could have been better. Well, I think on my last album, you know, my kids were really, really small. They were sort of two and three when I was um, touring with She's as the last record, and I was spending really long periods away mm. um, from them. And um, you know, late nights and tour buses and you know, rock and roll lifestyle was it was it was tough because as, as fun as that you know, life is sure. when you're, you know, waking up in the middle of nowhere and you've missed five FaceTimes from your little ones. It's, it's, um... It's, it's totally different yeah. when you're a mum. Things change completely. Priorities change. Of yeah. course they do. And as you said, you did have some great fun. Yes, I you did. You have, I still <laughs> are. I hope you do. <laughs> you're still having fun. But you, you did have some great, great times, but sometimes it was, it yeah. was difficult. You I know, think that anything hard. to excess is, um, yeah. I did have a lot of fun. <laughs> is there anything looking back that you think to yourself, oh, for goodness sake, when the kids get older and they might, they, you know, they might say to me, why did you do that? And... <laughs> um, yeah, there, there are things that, um, that I've, I, yeah, questionable outfits, um, you know, Twitter spats. But, I'm, you know, I've written a book which is coming out in October, which kind of lays it all bare. And, and so does this record to a certain extent. So yeah. I'm hoping that when they hit their teenage years and they're like, mum, you're so embarrassing, I can just go... Like, just listen to this. Just have a go with that. Just have a go with that. But, it's, but it is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a shame because you have had an awful lot of criticism. And how do you, how do you deal with that? Because it's hard. I mean, it's, we can all say, oh, it's fine. But nobody, nobody really... Yeah, I mean, I think that it. I sort of, like, try and figure out ways to take the criticism. You know, not all of the criticism is, like, you know, unfounded. Like, sometimes, you know, there are things that I do do wrong and people... Um, you know, have their say about it. So I yeah. think it's about, you know, listening and taking certain things on board and trying to separate the nonsense from, yeah. you know, the, the reality. And, and, yeah, it's life is a, is a learning... It's a learning curve. <laughs> you seem in a really good place. I feel in a really you good really place. You really do. I mean, yeah. genuinely, you really do. It's, it's like you've got it sorted. And I know, I know you're separated now, but you, how do you work out with the kids? Do you do, like, a week on, a week we off? We do a week on, a week off, exactly. Does that work? Is, is that not weird when it's the week off? You know what? It, for, in terms 
terms of my work, it's actually perfect. Okay. You know, I can really recommend divorce for <laughs> what <laughs> um, No, I mean, you know, I, I um, you know, when I'm w working in the studio, it's I do it when Sam has the kids and right. when he has the kids, I'm, I'm mum. You know? So you can sort of compartmentalise then. Exactly. So that week you can be doing all your work and just yeah. doing that and then you can be absolutely well, also because with, with writing it never really happens like nine to five so sure. you know I, it's really good to be able to do it in my weeks off when, when i'm not looking after the kids because it means the you know late night studio sessions can work and there's no dropping kids off at school at seven in the morning so yeah it it, no, it, sure. it has worked out and you know that a lot of people especially when they're very very young and they want to be famous and they want to do all of these things and they go on shows like x factor or britain's got talent and all of that your advice to anybody who's going into this business, who is maybe 19, 20, and, mm. and it is overnight, almost overnight success, how do you survive that? Because you have survived it, but I how would do you? say get good accountants and good lawyers. <laughs> 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 that would be my advice. And then it'll be absolutely fine. Everything should be fine. <laughs> then it'll be OK. Lily, I joy to talk to you. Thank you so much for, for coming in. Me. Good luck with the album. I don't need to say good luck because it's doing really well already. And love the hair. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's the same colour as that little unicorn that's on earlier on. <laughs> See, you're just, it all just joins up, doesn't it? It just all joins up. Seamless. Thank you, my love.